And welcome back to my channel. It is Christy here to do the weekly reading for this sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you don't know your Moon and Rising sign, Scorpio, there is a link in the description box where you can find your whole birth chart. And that way, for additional information for the week, you can always check out your Moon and Rising sign readings in addition to your Sun sign reading today. So this is for Scorpio for the week of August 29th to September 5th. I will be using the Wisdom of the Oracle Tarot for a three-card spread today and then using the bottom of the deck card for general energy for the week. And then as always, drawing additional message cards from each of the Healing with the Angels Tarot and the Medicine Card Tarot. This is a general reading for your sign, so whatever is most prominent for you this week in your life, Scorpio, I encourage you to apply these messages to and hopefully you find them helpful and healing. So what does Scorpio need to know? So several cards here are very similar to the Libra reading. There could be some commonalities here, or you might have a moon, sun, or a rising in Libra. So do check that out. Just want to mention that straight up. Um, we're going to get a general idea of what's going on here with all four cards together, a little more like a snapshot for the week, Scorpio. And then we'll look at these one by one. Please down a tiny bit. Okay, so what I'm seeing here in totality for the week is this real sense of being supported. Somebody really wants to see you do well and you really believe that you're ready. Like you're in a position now where you're just like, time for thinking is over, I'm ready to make a move, um, and it's no small decision here. Um, this could be fundamental to the way that you spend the rest of your life, right? This could be an idea, uh, belief system, lifestyle change. You could be moving, could be about a relationship, could be about political beliefs, um, but you're definitely being supported by something um, that could feel like family or is actual family. Someone definitely has your back here and you've been able to support them in the past too. So you're feeling supported by someone whom you also support and there's a sense of just things like cream rising to the top, like like the dust has settled, everything that was gonna go wrong went wrong, and now there's a sense of, okay, can I enjoy it now? Like you're poking your head out and almost like, is it over, is the storm over? And yes, the storm is over. <laughs> Whatever you were experiencing that might've been difficult over the past week or so, Scorpio appears to have settled itself or you appear to have uh, conquered it. So yeah, there's a great relief here. There's a great understanding about um, where you may be headed. You really need a lot of support. If you're not getting it, ask for it. But if you are getting it, please accept it. And you've got a race to win. You've got something in mind, very definitive for yourself. So let's look at these cards in their positions. We have serendipity as your general energy for the week. This is what always looks like luck, right? This is the symbol for luck, but we all know that luck is the result of hard work. And this is why I feel like you're strongly interested in taking the next step here. This is you being swept away by your own hard work, by your own sense of wellness and completeness. You've given this to yourself. You've accepted it or provided it to yourself, uh, but one way or another, you're riding free, you're riding high. There's this sense of, you know, is this how good it feels? Like you might even be surprised by this, right? You might even be this sense of, um, and I don't see you doing this to yourself, thank God, but I mean, there could be a position here where if things feel so good, you might be waiting for the other shoe to drop, so to speak. Um, but I just don't see you getting into that position. You have way too much faith in where you are now. You might've come so far as well, where you feel just like you don't have time 
for that negative voice. You don't have time for those old thought patterns or belief systems. Like you're just above and beyond um, where you were even recently. So yeah, I see you feeling really lucky, really supported and really confident about where you're heading next. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's also a sense of freedom that comes with this, right? Um, serendipity is like this sense of I'm supposed to be here. I feel really confident and really safe and really secure and that you have everything you need. So whether you want to stay here for, and I don't see, I see you moving away from something here, but there is a condition like emotionally or mentally here where you're just like, I'm okay either way. And that's actually a brilliant way to start something new or to finish something because you accept yourself regardless. That's what I see going on here. No matter what lay ahead, no matter what plans you have for yourself, your acceptance of yourself and your condition and of your state and even of your success is part and parcel of you moving forward with it. So really beautiful to see that for you. In the central position, this is a leg up. This is where I see you getting and giving a lot of support. It could very well be family. We're looking at a family unit here or it could be a friend that feels like family, right? Someone who really has your back, who's proven that they have their, your back uh, and who wants the best for you. Someone who might even be providing a lecture from time to time and like nobody likes a lecture, but this person has your best interest in heart. If it's you yourself doing this and you have your own back and you're really giving yourself some credit and a leg up, um, choosing the right things for yourself is another way to frame this. This is you giving yourself a hard time for things that you think you're better than. All the same, you're being provided opportunities here to raise yourself up, to, to really make the best out of yourself and to prove to yourself here that you can do it, right? You've already done something here. Something's already been successful. Um, and you're like, okay, well, I might expand on that. I'm going to keep going with that. Uh, I know it's possible. I know I have my own back or other people believe in me and that this is available to me. It could be that someone else is influencing you as well to make these uh, demands, changes, or opportunities in your own life, and you feel really emboldened by them. There's no rush here, right? You just feel like, you know what, this is, and again, with the serendipity and go to the sea, the only rush is your probable outcome. I think you <laughs> might be, um, uh, by the end of the week, you might be in a position where you really want to make it a uh, take action. But this is really all about like being settled in the mental and emotional and psychological frame of mind and, 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 and heart where you're ready and this is time and you really feel that this is for you, right? Another way to read the leg up also is to say that you might even find yourself in a difficult position during this time or if you make a move, but someone's always been there or you've always been able to pick yourself up from something. I just feel you really confident this week. You're not making any excuses for anything here. There's no name or blame um, going on here, but really like the warm and fuzzies is another way to look at this too. Like you really feel like when I say supported, I mean like, like an actual hug, like someone might be hugging you or giving you a lot of support. So, uh, and like I said, if someone is trying to do that, uh, don't resist that. Let them help you through this period or share your joy with someone else. Maybe someone else just wants to hear how well you're doing and, and you want to express how well you're doing. They really are interested and they really do care. In the the influencer to your present position is to the sea. This is literally going with the flow. This is really all about emotions. We got We have a nice distinction between the mind and the heart and calm waters. You have done a lot. When I say you've done a lot of hard work here, it's no joke, right? You really um, are feeling lucky and able to rise above a situation, but it's also because you're able to go with the flow. You're not interested in controlled outcomes. I think you understand here that there is no controlling anyone else. There's no controlling outcomes. All you can control is your emotional response to events, circumstances, and other people. And I feel like you might've been putting this into practice for some time. 
So it could be adding to your sense of wellness and of stability this week. Um, certainly in terms of what do you need to know if there is any upset this week, please go with the flow. And like I mentioned, I believe I mentioned earlier on, if there's any sense of um, being pulled back into negative thought patterns or belief systems or um, you know, self-sabotage here, if that's what's going on um, at all, or you feel drawn to that, but you're just trying to get away from it, just breathe, you know, remember to go with the flow, take it easy. You've gotten through a lot already, you can get through this. So how, keep that self-confidence in your heart, Scorpio. And with your probable outcome is go the distance. This is where I see you taking action, you not resting on your laurels. You're gonna take the next step here, whatever this next step is here for you. Um, it could be about a relationship specifically, about you maybe making the first move or being excited that a first move has been made. Uh, but certainly, if it is about a relation, whatever this is about, um, travel, relationship, finances, something is about to, um, you're about to win something or feel like you're at the finishing gate of something. Um, but it's only because you yourself has to have taken action here. So yeah, through going with the flow, being really supported, trusting that this is the right time and place for you, you now feel really confident in order to make that move into the future here. So I would keep going um, if by the end of the week you've taken action. And let's see what additional messages we can bring to these cards. If you can believe it, it is the middle of the day and the sun was shining, but it's so overcast. So I apologize for the lack of light. <laughs> I didn't think it'd be this dull this time of day. Um, so I hope you can see. So let's see what other messages here are for you. Yeah, keep going in, the, in a sense of wellness and health and being your own best friend and having your own back. Stay positive, keep going. You're really making a difference. Whatever you're working hard on or participating in Scorpio this week, you're really making a difference. And I think it's teaching you a lot too. And maybe it was unexpected what you're learning from it all, but you're not missing it, right? You're not missing out on those lessons. So really nice to see here for you. Okay, so we actually get two. I'm going to take them. Um, you can go here. So we have answered prayer and divine guidance. Again, answered prayer was actually one of Libra's additional cards. So there could be a very strong Libra influence here or issues of balance here or an air quality. So if there is a lot of living in the mind um, this week, just make sure it's your best friend. <laughs> Um, so answered prayer here and divine guidance. I'm not surprised at all to see divine guidance. So answered prayer could just be about staying cool, going with the flow, um, or having someone rem removed or something removed from your life uh, where you, that was negative that you didn't want, that you didn't have to make any effort toward. Um, so that might kind of be like, oh, that might be serendipitous. Like, oh, I don't have to have that conversation or I don't have to, you know, play games or whatever. You might just be relieved here that a prayer has been answered this week. And certainly with divine guidance, you're definitely on the right path. Definitely feeling positive about what's going on. Um, very, very kind like there's a sense I really feel like there's a sense of kindness and openness that not only are you bringing into your life but you're really making available to other people like we can't give to other people what we don't have right and I really see you elevating yourself you're evolving so of course you want to bring more light and joy and love into the world and the more you encompass that the more you can provide that. And I do think that it's very influential to live this way. So I did get two jumpers. I am going to take them. I, I'm a little 
floored that this as well was part of the Libran spread. So I do believe there is a great deal of Libran influence in your week or at least issues of justice or uh, balance this week. So please pay attention to issues of justice and balance this week or an actual uh, Libran in your life. Fear is the rabbit's keyword. Another element of fear, of course, is doubt. So just don't let doubt drag you down in any way. Don't let anyone um, influence you to bring you down. No guilt. Don't play any guilt games, especially with yourself. Don't look behind you. Stay out of that rear view mirror and stay positive because here's what we have working for you is the patience. Um, so squash the self-doubt and really have patience with yourself. Go with the flow. Things are going to have to move at their own pace here. Do what you can expediently on your own with what you can. Uh, but for everything else that needs its own time or its own place, like, like it says here, divine guidance. So um, really listen to your heart. Listen to your gut this week. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with other people. If there are new changes, be patient with the changes. And really remember that the whole system, the whole goal for the week for you, Scorpio, is the serendipity, the, the, the feeling, the sense of being carried into something really positive and uplifting for yourself. So please let me know how this works out for you. I'm genuinely curious. And if you aren't already, subscribe to my channel because I upload videos for your sign every single week. So until we meet next time, Scorpio, take good care. And I promise there'll be more light next time. <laughs> See you then. Bye for now.